and welcome back folks, welcome back to our Ludum Dare game marathon. We are playing Go Man Sky, a game that yeah, appear, apparently is a parody of No Man's Sky. Um, yeah, and it looked, it had quite interesting visuals, so I decided to play it. You are a lone traveler, exploring the galaxy, searching, searching for an ancient artifact that promises to unlock the secrets of a once great alien civilization. However, you must scavenge for resources to keep your ship working on this extended trek through the stars. Gather fuel to ensure that you can continue your quest. Travel to new sectors via the warp gates. Press any key to begin. Okay, um, and the immediate problem, ah, okay, the immediate problem of, um, how do you actually control this game? Um, oops, sorry. Um, hold on a second, I will, while I check out the documentation. Okay, um, I got it now. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm playing the Windows version of this game and apparently the Windows version doesn't have the right color palette, so it, it actually look, should look much better on, on the Macintosh. Um, okay, I think the website actually does not yeah, it doesn't tell you actually how you play the game. Okay, right. Um, so, well, the arrow keys, they move your ship. Um, hmm. um well. I'm not quite sure. Ah, okay, something happened. So I pressed, wait. Hmm. Okay, I pressed some button and now it's my ship is tight, wait. Okay, I will just press all the buttons until um, things start to make sense again. Oh, yeah. Okay, I I can't. Oh, now my ship stays stays there. Wait. Oh, did I leave the ship? Is this my is that my character? Okay, if it is, then um hmm. Can I just? Okay, this is a bit awkward. Um, hmm. Also, there's no way to restart the game. Um, hmm. Wait. Hmm. Um. Okay, I think I will have to restart this. Give me a moment. And yeah, we're back. So, um. Ah, I think I pressed E. Ah, so that was things. So that makes sense. When you press E, um, you exit your ship and, oops, ah, and then you can walk around and then, 
by pressing enter you can pick up things I guess um, or do, wait or do you just walk over them no you just walk over them and then you pick up things Um, okay, so it's, yeah, quite simple, actually. You know, it would not have hurt if the developers would have included the um, instructions on how to play the game, actually, in the game or even on the um, website. Okay. So we got some fuel, some metals, and some other shit. Wait, is this... By the way, uh, talking of shit, um, the controls are a bit lacking. Shit. Um, I don't know what... Okay, it doesn't... It doesn't seem that... Um, apparently it doesn't like me flying over this thing, whatever that was supposed to be. Okay, can we actually warp to another sector? Hmm. Um, well, I guess we are making, we're making some progress. Um, also the game, it actually, wait, the game actually should have sound, um, at least there are some sound files. So I'm guessing that I actually didn't really activate the engine. Um, Hmm. Okay, back to pressing all the buttons. And none of them work, actually. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it, it, it would have been nice if they just on the very first screen told you how to you, um, how you actually control the game. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, none of them, well, okay, I don't, I can't, I don't seem to be able to make um, any progress and I don't know how you actually activate the engine, wait, wait a minute, um, hmm. Let me just quickly restart the game and I will I will check something. Ah, um my bad. There are actually instructions on how to play the game. Unfortunately, they are not readable at least on the Windows version. Ah. Hmm. Okay, at least we know that there must be some way or you can actually, yeah, engage the engine. Um, okay, let's get, well, let's get off the ship and quickly scavenge the planet for those precious, precious uh, resources. I think this game could actually be legitimate fun. Um, However, um, it it is not. At the moment, it is clearly not. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's get back onto the ship and let us try to figure out how you actually engage the engine. Okay, so my idea was that this actually, um, yeah, is basically, wait. Oh, yeah, so my idea was that you use this strange object that I didn't know what it was before to yeah, engage the engine or at least maybe jump to another sector. And I think this actually worked since quite clearly we are, this is a different planet from the one we were on before. Um, still, um, if we would have engaged the engine, it actually should have made a sound. Also there, um, there should be some ambient sound. So I think, well, it, it is possible that um, the Windows version simply lacks sound. Um. <clears throat> Which is a shame. Okay. Um. Aha, so we are in sector 4633 and now we are in a different sector. So my theory was actually correct. Um, and now we are in outer space, which is not great. I can't get back into the ship. No, I actually can. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there actually is also a sound file um, that's called hit heard dot wave. So I, I assume that there actually is a possibility for combat in this game. Um, space combat or planetary combat one or the other. Um, let us just maybe just jump through some portals uh, to see if something interesting happens. I think we're just looping through places where we have already been. Okay. Um, oops. Yeah, and the controls are still shit. And now I'm lost. No, I'm okay. Well, um, ah, I think, hmm, it's getting vaguely more complicated. Um, ah, oh, sorry. So these numbers on top there just, um, so we are in sector 25 and there are two axes for sector six and sector 23. So I actually misinterpreted that, that column earlier. Um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure whether there's anything else here in the game to explore. Um, I can't really say that the game is much fun and maybe it's not even supposed to be. Um, but I think this is, this is a shame because the, the graphics, I mean the visuals, they are actually very effective. And with just a little bit of effort, this could have been actually an, I mean a game that is, would have been actual fun. And well, but that's, um, I mean, it, it is what it is. And so, yeah, 
This was Go Man Sky. I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time folks, until then.